the hidden pool, where does it go? Does it go into the ground below the pool? Or maybe it's sucked through the walls on the pool? After all, the pool walls are the largest surface area of the pool. Or can it be that it simply just evaporates out from the top of the pool? Now that is exactly what my experiment will reveal. Keeping a pool at nice warm bathing temperature often requires some kind of heating source and in most cases it costs a lot of money to heat it up. The more you can prevent the heat from escaping the pool, the less you have to heat it up and the more money you can save. But there is a small downside to this. You have to invest in some kind of insulation. Sadly, most insulation materials are not cheap, but over time, if used correctly, you will end up saving money. Now what is the most cost-effective way to prevent the heat from escaping the pool? Most of the cheap above ground pool you can buy come with no cover or any form of insulation, much like this container over here. Adding a heat source to a pool like this is very ineffective and will end up costing you a lot more to heat it up. Next up we have pools with some kind of cover, like this container. A pool cover comes in many forms and shapes, but the main purpose of it is to prevent evaporation and keeping leaves and other dirt out of the pool when it's not in use. It's a very common and inexpensive investment. You can even make one yourself. This container has insulation under it, and that is to prevent all the heat from escaping into the ground below it. This form of insulation is very common on inflatable hot tubs, but then it's not this kind of thick insulation, but instead it comes in the form of a bubble cushion wrap. In fact, I have one over here. It looks much like this one. Now this is where we get a little bit more serious. Insulation on the pool walls. This form of insulation is most commonly used on in-ground pools rather than above grounds. On some above ground pools these are still used but it doesn't look very pretty. Insulation on the pool walls are an expensive investment. Is it worth it though? I also added one more test container that has both insulation on the walls and under it. Why? Well, I had the materials to do so, so why not? Don't let me down, buddy. I trust in you. Now, before we begin this test, I want you to guess which one of these containers will keep the heat the most, and then write it down in the comments. Also, let me know if you're right. All right, let's go. So the tests are in and we have a really interesting result. The first thing I noticed was that this container that has insulation on the bottom actually performed just as bad as the one with nothing under it. I don't know what's going on here, but insulation below the pool is according to this test 100% useless. I mean come on at least some different but nothing and the way i can confirm that is that this container over here that has insulation on the walls and below it perform just as good as the one with just insulation on the walls there is no difference between these two but the real hero among these ones are the one with a cover on it it's an absolute beast it crushed all the opponents and all of this it, it just keeps the water from evaporating and that is the biggest source of heat loss absolute beast and absolute must for every pool owner if you don't have a pool cover get it and the best thing about a pool cover is it is crazy cheap you can make one from a diy things at your home and if you want to go really crazy you can add a pool roof now those on the other hand is mm, not even close to cheap they are super 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 expensive but oh man they are so great now to answer the question of what is the most cost effective way to keep the heat in your pool than a pool cover. And if you want to go all in, going crazy on the insulation, add on the bottom and on the walls. 
Now this shouldn't be done according to the test, but who can stop me? I'm Batman. <laughs> now this is a full day after the test, and as you can see, I can still see how warm each container are. Now there is one that really makes a name for itself, and that's this one, the one with the lid. Whoa boy, 26 degrees and I'm not even heating it. Look, these are without lid. And this bad boy is with the lid. It is crashing its opponents. It's completely destroying them. There is no one like it. If you're gonna choose just one type of insulation, go with a pool cover. It is an absolute must for every pool. I don't have any heat in this and it reads 26 degrees compared to this one. This 21.8 is for the one that has insulation on the bottom and on the sides. It doesn't have anything on the top, but still, oh boy, it's like 4 degrees difference. 21.8. Oh well, 26, so not 4. Yeah, 4. Dude. It's crazy. A pool cover. Go for it. It's the best one. By far.